Well, hey there, you're still around. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at inelastic collisions. So it looks like to begin with, we've got a velocity of six meters per second for cart one. To end with, cart one is going at two meters per second. Um, to begin with, it looks like cart two is at rest and then it ends up speeding up for some reason and looks like it combines with cart one. So why the heck would it speed up? Um, well, and the answer the answer is pretty much right here. Um, it looks like this this cart here going six meters per second. It must have ended up smacking into this red cart or cart two in order to get that cart to speed up. So it'd be like basically we have. Let me uh, draw this out really really quick. Basically we have our a second cart sitting still just kind of on a track zero meters per second and then we end up with our blue cart speeding along this way six meters per second it's just like hey buddy why are you sitting there it smashes right into it and ends up after the fact, getting this cart to to move forward. Um, so it looks like after the fact, we end up with a cart that's going six meters per second, slamming into our poor defenseless little red cart there. And this entire this entire system, both these guys together, end up moving at two meters per second. And that should make sense. I'm gonna end up losing some velocity from my my cart that's going real fast because this other cart isn't moving at all. So it's gonna end up transferring some of that um, momentum to, to cart two. All right, uh, based on the velocities before and after the collision, what's the ratio? Um, or I shouldn't say ratio of, of the mass, but w which mass is bigger, which mass is smaller to begin with, and we'll deal with ratio in a minute. It looks like to begin with, um, cart cart two here, this this red cart, it looks like it has the it has the bigger mass because um, again it's it's harder for it to change speed. Um, its speed doesn't change very much, so it must be more massive. Cart one looks like it, it changes speed quite a bit, so it must be less massive. Right? Um, if we're talking about what's what's going on in the in this situation, what's speeding up, what's slowing down? Cart two is at rest, so it speeds up. Cart one is actually slowing down, right? Going in the in the um, negative direction, going from six to two, a negative change, not negative position. Okay. All right, so uh, to end with, both these guys are moving. The reason we know that they end up sticking together is because now they're they're both at the the same velocity, um, both in the in the positive direction, and it makes sense that it's in the positive direction because our first cart here was moving in the positive direction, ends up hitting my cart that was at rest, and now they're both moving in the positive direction. It'd be really weird. If I've got one cart moving in the in the positive direction, ends up hitting another cart that is is sitting still, and then all of a sudden they they both start moving backwards. Like that wouldn't make any sense. Why would this cart, if it's going forward, end up taking this cart, moving it backwards? It just it wouldn't make any sense. All right, and then um, what time did this collision occur? Again, we're not really too concerned with the exact time. We just want to know. Okay, the collision began right here because that's where we see a change in motion. It ended right here, because this is where we see our motion equalize out again. And again, that distance between, um, it's that, I shouldn't say distance, don't confuse it with like meters or something, but the increment in between here, that again is our, our, our impulse, right? We need a force, we need a time in order to get our momentum to, to change, in order to get our mass and our velocity to, uh, or to, to change. All right, um, and we already talked about after the collision what uh, what happens. 
the last thing that we could talk about, just real briefly here, is our um, our masses. You know, we we already know one of them's heavier, one of them's lighter. I shouldn't say a high, heavier and lighter, more massive, less massive. Um, but we can ask, we can also tell how much, right? Because we're going from six to two, so that's a we can compare this to going from zero to two. So it looks like this guy is actually two times more uh, more massive. And this one would be half as massive um, as the other cart, we could say. The reason that we know that is, again, because it's, it's twice as easy to move, so it's half as much uh, mass. This one's twice as hard to move, so it's, it's two times more massive. All right. Hope that went well for you. Bye-bye.